Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of uh, Lockman Adventures with the Vlog Couple and Say. But don't forget, we're learning as we go along. So we're bound to get some things wrong. Should we do the titles? course first things first everyone how's peter pepper getting along <laughs> he looks good to me and lee's going to give him some water there you go <laughs> you right there then hector this is the first time he's been let off his lead up here to have a little sniff around the greenhouse so then what are we doing in this episode well obviously now we've taken uh, care of peter pepper we're going to have to clean the greenhouse, although we almost finished it. There's a couple of little bits still we need to do, so we need to clean it. We brought the proper cleaning equipment up today, so that's bad on a few sides. So obviously you can see all the green mangy stuff. It's all on both sides. It's quite nasty. Uh, so we just want to kind of cleanse it again, partly for the Connor coming up. So uh, it's all nice and clean and obviously for the mighty hound. And but also, as you've just seen, Lee has um, put some shorter sticks on these cooker melons or whatever they're called because they were just ridiculously tall but then we're actually going to do our first planting out there if you have a little looky out there let's have a little looky out there looky out there near my beer we're going to plant some carrots and some onions and then in the week we're going to buy some or we're going to order some polytunnel type things to protect them at least we can plant them today and we might do a few seedlings of other things we'll see how it goes Right, let's just show you what we're doing so out here if you can see that I've marked a line and I've measured around nine and a half foot to this one here you can see and this is where we will plant our onions and um, carrots and we've done it at this length because of the um, polytunnels which I was talking about and we'll probably get some fine mesh ones but we'll see you can see Hector's footprints as well so we're probably going to put two tunnels across here maybe three because we're going to order four and when we get to this side we're going to put some down that way and that will be this bed done and the reason we're doing this in honesty because we've got Hector the mighty hound he keeps going on the mud so if we put our first one across here then that'll stop him walking out onto there so I think that's a splendid idea. Well, of course, before any real work gets done, we're gonna to have to have our lunch. So we've got some lovely Irish sausages. I love me Richmond sausages. So uh, we'll have a sausage sandwich and we'll cook one for Hector, do it in the Ridge Monkey. And we're gonna try this on the jet boil thing. It's not jet boil, it's the fire maple Polaris. Um, and we're gonna try it on this ring thing because you saw the dessert, well, it wasn't a disaster. What we did last time when we did the um, toasty, it burnt too much, so this is a little bit more regulated. So we'll have a go at that, shall we? All right, this is one thing we do love about the Ridge Monkey. You get these tools with it. So obviously we get the couple of handles. And then here, we just have a couple of easy tools. So I'll probably use this one here to turn me sausages. Just put that to one side. Stick the handles on. Jobs are good. At It's a little bit dodgy because being so tall and the ridge monkey being a bit unbalanced, I just have to be a little bit careful. But anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Just preheat it on each side for 
20 or 30 seconds, and we'll go. Don't tell Lee, but I'm cooking them all. Because Hector deserves one, because he's such a nice hound, isn't he? Such a mighty hound. There we go. One of the things I did read on this fire maple thing, and other people that have been reviewing it, it says how, much, how little gas it uses. So it's quite economical to use. That sounds good to me. We all need to save money, guys. There's a wasp. Looking good now, aren't they, guys? And let's be honest, you can't beat a nice juicy sausage on a Sunday. Or in fact, any other day of the week. Say that's done. I'm quite excited about this bit because this is going to be one of the um, mainstays of our allotment. It's going to be one of the big things I think we're going to be using a lot. This is the potting um, desk thingy. Potting, they say a potting shed, don't they? But yeah. This is the um, potting thing you do, though. Potting table, Lee just informed me. Oh, oh, look at that. We've got a nice little, oh, oh, I say. Anyway, we need to see how to make this and get it in our greenhouse. It's all very exciting, everyone. <laughs> That's quite nice, isn't it? That bit looks really quite nice. Obviously, these are never as big as you think they are, are they? Hey, Hector, said the actress to the bishop. It's never as big as you think it is. Let's have a little looky looky then, shall we? Is this going to be like IKEA where just a couple of pictures of me, nothing? There we are then. Does that not look quite awesome? Hey, that's a lovely little potting table, isn't it? I have to say, fair play. Right, this is an Amazon thing, so you never, never know, do you? But it came with a couple of spare bolts and a couple of spare screws. So yeah, you can't fault it. Love that, bye. There we are then. Look at that. I might have to do some leveling out in here. Oh, that seems all right. There we go. The potting table. I'm so excited. Well, I'm not sure how much of this you can see, but we've still got quite a lot of ants. You can see on this pane here, perhaps, that um, some of the ants I've just sprayed are obviously deceased. But we're going to use one of these things. These are called Ant Killer Plus. Because also we do have an issue with it. Um, they're bait stations. So basically what happens is you'll squeeze this gel stuff here into here. The ants will take it, take it back to their colony and kill the whole colony. It sounds really quite cruel, doesn't it? But they're little bastards. Oh, sorry, they're little buggers. Oh, there's no, no word I can say, is there? So we have to get rid of them. So I'm just squeezing it into here now. So what they'll do, apparently they come into this part, go and get on top of the gel and then they take that back. So there we go, we'll see how this works. Never used anything like this before, but we'll see, and I'm just gonna place it down here because this seems to be the problem area. Well, let's be honest. That's not a bad view, is it? Nice view of the allotment with a lovely point of hoe garden. 
absolutely splendid. Right, this afternoon it seems we're going to be um, planting some radishes in here. So we're going to do them in modules and we'll do the carrots and onions outside. Perhaps. We'll see how time goes. And uh, of course we still need to get sort out that hop monster out there and uh, cut that back. That won't happen today. But anyway, Hector is happy as a pig in the proverbial. Look at him. He's just chilling out, watching the world go by. Bless him. This is the best thing that would happen to us for a while, let me tell you. Really happy about it. Oh, I say I can't wait to get my shed now. Bye. Good yeah. afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon, I say. Hasn't it been lovely so far, Lee Wilson? I'll tell you. It's very hot in here. I'm boiling. It is, it is. But I'm glad I got my potting table done. So Lee's going to explain what we can put, what we can do at this time of year, because the whole point of this channel is to say, right, as we're learning, that we kind of try and pass what we've learned on to you. But don't think it's right because we're going to make it all, you know, we're probably going to make mistakes ourselves. We can only go by what we read in our books, what we see on the web and what the other people here tell us. But that's the time. Yeah, but we've got a great big book here. Look, let me just show you. Look, we've we been bought, buying books. We bought a book at the so this is garden quite, centre yesterday. So this is so. kind of telling us what we can sow and plant in August, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. So there's so, a few uh, we can still do counting as um, July. But so, what are we going to do then, Lisa? What can we plant and where are we going to plant it? Well, we can plant cauliflowers, cabbages, broccoli. <laughs> but we won't bother. Yeah, we will. Because he won't eat No, we will, honestly, because I, I, will, I will eat stuff. Because I, I do believe, I honestly do believe that fresh stuff tastes completely different oh, yeah. than the rubbish you get in the mm. supermarket. And I do eat um, cauliflower every now and again. Excuse me. But it's no good giving me a, you know, a whole load of cauliflower. If you give me selected vegetables in little bits, like you know, one sprig of that, one sprig of that, I'll, I'll eat loads of carrots. Peas, again, not, not stupid amounts, then I'll eat them. Mm. It's just when there's shit loads of the same thing, I don't like it. I'm not a great big veggie anyway. Okay. I like fruit and I like kebabs <laughs> and beer, hops. Anyway, so what are we going to grow? Well, we're going to grow our carrot. Put some carrots in and some spring onions, which I think you said already. Yep. So we're going to do that today. Excellent. I'm also so going to. <laughs> I'm also going to plant some radish we'll and some rocket because we can just have that any time. I'm just going to plant a few radish and then maybe in two weeks' time I'll plant a few more because otherwise. So are know, we are we planting the radishes outside? Or are we doing them no, in modules? Inside. Are we doing them the little propagator things? The little propagator things that we bought. So Excellent. I'll do the radishes in there. Um, we found some bits behind the greenhouse and around and about. So there's a couple of sort of long trough things. I'm going to put the rocket in there. Excellent. Uh, oh, and some chard. I don't know. No, I was going to do that next year, actually. Ah, just do it all now. We need, we need, <laughs> some, I mean, I did have some chard yesterday and it yeah, tasted like it's mud. It tasted like mud. But again, I think that's a supermarket <laughs> thing. We had Manya here today, didn't we? She came down and, and had a little chat with us. And yeah, she brought, brought some, some white nice currants. White currants. Oh, they oh are. my goodness, they are so lovely. I've never, I didn't even know there was such a thing as white currants, honestly. <laughs> I, I mean, they probably got privilege or something. But they were so, so nice. Um, we've only got the, well, not we've only got, we've got black currants here. And I had a couple today. They're ripening now. They are so, so juicy and lovely. Um, so yeah, I've washed out an old flower pot and I'm going to gather some yeah. in there because... <laughs> I forgot to bring my little pot with us. There's not enough here at the moment in reality to actually gather a, a whole load of stuff to make some jam or anything like that. That will come next year. Um, this year, kind of like I say, you've seen what we're doing. We're tidying up. We're going to plant a few brassicas. And hey, that's a posh word we never even knew before we started allotment in. I'll tell you. So yeah, we're going to start planting all that. We're going to just plant stuff and see what happens. It's, if, if it fails, it fails. You, we're only going to uh, learn by doing, aren't mm. we? Yeah, because um, Manya was saying earlier that their beans didn't take, so she's just planting some more, even though it's sort of technically a bit late. But she said, well, I'm going to give them a go, and they seem to be growing now. So, uh, brilliant. you know, when we're going to have a nose around and see what everyone else is growing as well, because then that sort of kind of says what the soil can manage and what the soil can produce. To be honest, we've been welcomed really nicely, haven't we? Mm. To be and, and, and that's uh, that's encouraging. So it seems like a nice little community as well, which is kind of also what I was after. I mean, we have a nice little community on the marina. Uh, if you're only watching these um, allotment adventures, maybe you don't know that we live on a boat. Um, but yeah, we do. And as I say, we've got a nice little community there. But it's um, we just wanted to want to be part of the, the actual surrounding area, part of the village as well, really. Mm. Uh, I mean, this is a lovely village. And as I say, so far, everyone's been really nice to us. Especially Carl's been fantastic, yes. hasn't he? Yeah. Helping us uh, get this plot. So massive thanks to him. 
and obviously thanks to um, Ryan and um, Ben because they kind of got us into this. Um, they put our names down to start off with and although things didn't work out over that side, it, I think that was karma. We got a fantastic fly. We're very, very yeah, lucky and very yeah. thankful and we do hope that this is going to be um, a brilliant little project. <laughs> And I say great for us as well, isn't it, Lee? I just said yes. to Lee earlier, this is one of the best things that's happened to us for ages. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So the only thing is, right, um, we need a toilet, <laughs> don't we? And we need a beer tent. <laughs> Some way of cooling our beer. That's it. That's all I ask for in life. <laughs> Anything else to add, like, Lee Lawson? I don't think so. We Let's get, get on with it, otherwise we won't we get We did get a nice done. little can, though, didn't we? You're going to oh, show them our nice oh. little baby. Oh, I love this. A nice little baby and watering can. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, how cute is that? It's so nice. <laughs> Lee might paint that with roses and castles. No, that's your job. No. No, you're the artist. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I am the artist, don't I? <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> dilly, dilly. Come on then, let's okay. get planting. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> right, we've just done our first little trench. <laughs> I don't know if one to two centimetres is classed as a trench because it's not very big. <laughs> Now we're just going to move the string over. Oh, that's it. To the next line. We're just using the dibby dobby do. <laughs> because it only need, what oh, are they sorry. like, Lee? A couple of centimetres, and that's all. A couple of one to two centimetres, yeah. Yeah, so this this is good enough to Carots be honest with you. Carrots and spring onions. So. And isn't this soil beautiful? <laughs> Seriously, it really is nice soil. It's so easy to. A lady this morning, she said, don't worry about the stones. She said they'll... Good drainage, aren't they? Yeah. If you rake them, she said they'll just come back anyway. <laughs> Apart from maybe that big one that <laughs> needs to get out of the way. <laughs> Bless you, Hector. At least now, we, obviously, once we start planting them, we can make sure they're a couple of centimetres because you plant them in ones, don't you? Mm. It shocked me because I thought, well, you just sprinkle them in, but you <laughs> don't. <laughs> you don't at all. And, you, you know, in the packets, you only get like 20 odd seeds. It's all too much, I say. <laughs> so that's the next trench. So we'll now do the next one. Ooh. Let me put her end in first. Okay. Big stone there, let's get rid of that one. <laughs> oh, that's all right. See, it's the thing is when you put your hand in it like that, it's, it's spot on. <laughs> so don't, you know, I say we don't really know what we're doing, guys, but we don't know what we're doing. this seems <laughs> to be, this, I think this will be all right. Well, yeah, we'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, then we'll yeah. have to uh, do it a different way another time or whatever. So, what's going on here is the middle row that we did is going to be the spring onions. And the outer rows are going to be the um, carrots. carrots. We've got two different types of carrots, so I don't know we've whether we're going to put two different yeah, types we might of carrots well, in. Yeah, we should. We've, we'll we'll do that. And then we've got, um, yeah, because well, they do say to three. plant onions next to carrots. And then it helps to, the smell of the onions helps to get rid of uh, carrot root fly. There you go. So that's a little tip for right. you. Let's have a go then, we shall go. we? Yep. Go on then. Carry on. <laughs> but what type of carrots, Lee? Nant. Who? Is that nant? I don't know. Nant. 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 It's French, oh, yeah, isn't it? Sound, oh yeah, it sounds like a. It's funny, isn't it? Because <gasps> we, you know, we do we do like the French. Because I, what do the ones I like? The Chardonnay ones. No way, you witch. She's just dropped all the seeds. I didn't drop them. The wind blew. She's a weirdo. That's <laughs> that up, boy. Well, have a guess what? <laughs> We're not going to have any naught ones, are we, Lee? We'll have three. <laughs> well, you ain't worth planting them. <laughs> well, when they start growing, we'll just dig them up yeah. and move them. <laughs> I'm still putting them in. Okay. <laughs> So we'll know when we do this third row out, so one, two, three, the first couple of carrots will be the ones that Lee tried to kill. <laughs> They're so small, I can't even see them. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's it, guys. 
Three carrots. Sake. <laughs> well, there's a lesson learned, isn't it? Weirdo. Don't put see open seed packets down when it's windy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, who knows what's going to happen now. Bye. I've moved on to spring onions. <laughs> so what are you going to do now then, Lee? Spring onions, did you say? Spring onions. In the middle row? In the middle row. So what's the next row, Lee? Chardonnays. Chantonay carrots, the little like, carrots yeah, that like you the like. Yeah, little carrots. There we go. Oh dear, see there's just not enough, is there? Because, no. <laughs> oh. My OCD is not going to be happy. <laughs> what we're going to do is this third row here that only a couple of carrots went in. We're going to wait. We'll leave it open until tomorrow. We'll go and get some seeds in the morning and then we can finish that row because that was just a bit ridiculous. So, um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill these two other rows. I'm just going to put a little bit of compost in them, try and give them a bit of a head start. So um, we'll see what happens. I'll just cover it over. I did kind of read that 50-50 was good when you're first planting them out. Uh, especially if the, has, the soil hasn't been used for a while, which ours hasn't. Whether that's um, good advice or not, we don't know. Because as I say, you know, we can only go by what we're reading and what we're hearing, what people are telling us. But we'll give them a bit of a water once we've finished. And that should be jobs of good one. And Lee's going to do some radishes and hopefully not drop the seeds. There is something very satisfying about this. I suppose you youngsters wouldn't understand. I think as you get older, this sort of stuff brings more joy. I suppose when you're in your twenties, you don't really give a damn where your vegetables and food come from. But as you get older, you definitely do. Well, look at that everyone. Our first planting. Let's see what happens with these, eh? Quite an exciting day. Just water them in. Get the germination going, hopefully. Be great, wouldn't it, if we can come back in a week or two and see some sort of um, action. I don't know how long it takes. That'll do. Good enough. So what's next then, Lee? I'm going to plant some radishes. Are you? So I'm just going to use this old trough thing here that I found in the shed just to put some compost in, just so it's easier to handle. Are you going to try not to lose these seeds? Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> well, they're inside, so there shouldn't be any wind, apart from yours. <coughs> Might be a bit of wind. <laughs> right, I apologise if I get your nice new table dirty. Oh, that's okay, we're all right, we're getting that dirty. Okay. As long as you don't steal my beer, I'm alright. <laughs> right, these are our new little propagatory things. That They're we, quite cool, aren't they? How yeah, much have they like, cost us? Can you remember? £15 or something, was it? Was it that much? And how many did we get? I think we got 10, 10 didn't we? Than that, yeah. And there's 12. Um, CD things, modules per thingy. Yeah, I'm sure it's 10. So that's 120 modules. Huh. That's not bad, you modules. know. Modules? Yeah, I mean, I know they're a little, a little bit... little vent thing. I mean, they're not the, the highest quality, <laughs> but they'll do, I reckon. Maybe they'll do the job. Of course they will. So sometimes Amazon so, is very good. Indeed. It's quite funny because we was asking people here, you know, where do they get the seeds and all that sort of stuff. I'm not sure whether they've said this already, but they do. They pretty much just get them online and they go to Dobby's, same as everyone else, really. Hmm. So... Anyway, so yeah, so we're going to have some radishes. Is that all we're going to plant in here, darling? Or is there anything else uh, you're going to plant in here? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Um, I thought there was rocket, but I can't... Maybe it wasn't this month that I could do rocket because it's not in the little thing. I think thing. you could do any winter lettuce mm. in this month. Winter lettuce? Yes. Well, I think rocket is an all-round 
But then rocket, thing. surely, that you might not be able to plant it outdoors, but I would have thought you could have planted it indoors. Yeah, but who knows? That's the thing is, we'll only know by trying it, won't we? I'll have a look again in a minute. Yeah. Anyway, so what are you actually doing then, Lee? I'm just filling... Oh, there's a big bit of something. I'm just filling this thingamajing and john with the... Module. Module. <laughs> and, then, and I shall plant the seeds in it, basically. And how deep do the and seeds then, have to go? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got to my page yet. It's not very well rehearsed, <laughs> this vlog, is it? Well, I'm just learning as I'm going along. And that's why we're going to really get it wrong. <laughs> Anyway, we'll get back to you when she's finished. Bye. <laughs> bye. Say bye, Lee. Bye. Oh, she's ooh, filled ooh, her. Ooh, ooh. She's filled her modules with her mud or compost. Here we have Roger the radish. <laughs> Roger the radish, I say. <laughs> get in there, Roger. It's nothing like a bit of Roger in on a Sunday, <laughs> is there really? They're very small. Are they? And they're just not far <laughs> away. I'm going to lose these as well. I'm not happy with the sticks in this compost. This is really splendid though, I have to say guys. <laughs> First plantings. Sowing the seeds of our love, I'd say. <laughs> so look at this. Roger's got his own um, little label and everything. And Lee is going to give him some water. Woo! So there's this thing, oh, supposed to start away. Oh, God. Yeah, she didn't really start away too <laughs> I much, did! Anyway. They're very moist. I think that's more than moistly. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? Rosina the rocket, was it? <laughs> Is that what we're doing next? Yes. I think all of these vegetables should have their own little fan page. Do you? I don't think it needs a little as we're in the greenhouse, do you think? Well, I would just would because it looks cool. <laughs> uh, do you know who I think the fans' favourite are so far? What? It's going to be Peter. Because <laughs> hey, he's been with us from the start. <laughs> but I would like to see... I would, <laughs> I would like to see... Well, that's quite good because it just fits down there, doesn't it? <laughs> I'd like to see Roger the radish too well because I really like radishes. Ra the radishes. <laughs> we nearly lost them if they'd have fallen through the whole thing. Anyway. Anyway, I'm going to do the rocket in this pot here. Okay. Because. Um, Are you liking our new potting table here? Yes, it's very it's good. It's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Anyway. Bye. Bye. So where are you planting the rockets then, Lee? I'm going to put the rocket in here. Yeah. But I need to find something for drainage. So you need but to put a couple of holes in it, don't you? Oh, well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. We well, kind of need to get something some, in it. Well, yeah, you kind of need to get some wood bark Spons. and stuff like that, some mulch for the bottom. We had some strolch or something. What's strolch? Smulch. Straw mulch. I found it in a bag. Well, bug that a funny name. What can happen? No, that goes on the top, not underneath. Oh, OK. What do you want? I did want? bring some polystyrene things, so I'll put that in the bottom. If you want. <laughs> Are you I'm following fine. me? I'm yeah, going all the way down there. What have we got? I can't even remember what we're doing now. Um, I don't know where it is. Rosina the rocket. It's Rosina, okay. isn't it? Rosina. Well, you named her. I think perhaps as we go forward, maybe we need to um, ask the wonderful people who watch our channel what we should be calling our vegetables. <laughs> so when we do some cauliflowers, what should we call our cauliflowers? Colin. What should we call our turnip? Don't be swaying them, Lee. Oh, sorry. What should we be calling our turnips, apart from Trevor? Well, this was pack no, look. <laughs> this was packaging, so I just thought, well... Uh. Yeah, but is that okay for putting vegetables on top of that? I don't know. Well, you mm. put um, you put polystyrene in plant pots. Okay. I'll leave it to you. Oh, That's why I saved it. I thought, well, it might come okay. in handy. You can't beat it coming in handy, can you? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> then, then they die. I'll be told I'm wrong. Rosina, the rocket will be dead. <laughs> Rosina, the rocket. <laughs> anyway, I think Hector's quite happy oh! with the um, proceedings. He's got his own little director's chair now, he's sitting there in his greenhouse, he's happy as a pig in the proverbial. Well, I've got to put some stuff in here before they'll blow away again. <laughs> <laughs> Lost one. Ooh. I'll say. So how deep do you need to, um, how deep is your love? It just said spring, it didn't really say anything, did it? No, it didn't even say the deepness. I think if you just stick your finger in it and give it a little push, that'll be enough to sow your seed, to be honest. Oh, not to a throw again. Oh, Jesus. Yes? It's like... <laughs> it's like 12. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing with buying these um, all-in-one seed yeah. sacks. <laughs> that you don't really get that many. But, you know, it's a start, isn't it? Oh, yeah. How many you got, do you reckon? 20? Oh, that's mm -hmm. plenty. Goodness me. 
Now I can see, look. look. Mm -hmm. That's quite a lot for that little pot. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, but it depends how big they grow. They no, they grow like that. I would say three, well, I'd say five inches apart, wouldn't you? Five inches? Rocket, rocket leaves are only like that. Just do it five inches apart, honestly. Five inches? Well, three well, you inches get like apart, four then. in here then. Three inches apart. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you like, I don't mind. I will. Say bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> These might be something that you have to put close together. There we are then. What a splendid day we've had. That's pretty much it, isn't it, Lee? Yes, I think so. I'll tell you. Tell oh, yeah. you. Oh, I didn't check Vera. Oh. I forgot to introduce oh, Vera. What's Vera. So what's Vera doing? Vera's just having a little lie down. <laughs> what is Vera? Vera's aloe vera. Yeah. I um, broke a bit off my sister's plant. And you just bang it in the soil, on purpose. Yeah, and you just lie it down in the soil, apparently. Well, that's right. But you have to check it for whether the root... I wouldn't have thought they'd be coming up now. Well, but... of course, then. You only put it in today. No, I did it the other day. Did you? Yeah, you check it, and then it will regrow. OK. So... <laughs> And a few days ago, I think I was talking about these and I thought they were crab apples, but apparently not. These are wild plums. So we've, we've eaten one already. There's one that was a little bit red and it tasted, it, they're definitely plums, there's no doubt about it. There's loads of them. And apparently they're all around the village. So this is gonna be quite a nice harvest from in here as well. So we still haven't quite, oops, we still haven't quite finished in here. We, we need to raise ourselves a little bit of money because uh, we want to get a battery powered um, lawn mower and strimmer so we can get in here properly and uh, clear all this. But I don't know what I'm saying, there's some glass and stuff down here, which all needs to be cleared. But we will get there, but that's quite an exciting thing, isn't it? Because these aren't crab apples. I don't know, can you see that one there? That shows you, look, so that's getting towards being a plum. According to my app, they are cherry plums. Have you ever had some Okay, um, cradled some plums in your hands before. <laughs> I wasn't sure if they were plum cherries or cherry plums. They look pretty much done. Are you going to have a taste of one? Go on then, let's see what you think. They're plummy. They're a bit tart. Definitely plums, not crab apples. Definitely plums. There you go. Say bye. 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 Have a guess what? What, darling? I think that's the end of this vlog, is it? I think it is. Or the end of this episode. Mm. Goodness knows how long it's been. But <laughs> Three hours. It has, but don't forget to follow us and love us and subscribe to us and all that sort of nonsense. And don't forget to wear gloves when you're gardening. <laughs> <laughs> and have a guess what, Lee? Art. We'll see him in the next one. We will. If you like this, please do subscribe. Please let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, let us know if you like this little mini series. And uh, your views are very much appreciated. See you. Bye. Thank you.